Okay, okay, okay. Gang, so today we got a little bit of a different video. Got a comment earlier this week, I think. I believe it was from, I don't know who it was from, but I'm gonna put the comment up on the screen. Shout out to you. But uh, yeah, just gonna be basically running you guys through my favorite effect plugins. Just gonna be adding them right here, right now for you guys and just running through how to use them, you know, how, how to get like a specific sound that you want from them. And yeah. <laughs> First off, we got ShaperBox 3. ShaperBox 3 is hella useful. I usually use it when I'm trying to make any like lead sound unique, sometimes even chords. Let's say you have just a simple chord and you wanna make it sound, I guess, more unique. So let's say like we use this preset. So as you can see here, like it just changes the sound completely, gives like your chords and even leads like completely new sound. So when I'm messing around with my leads and stuff, I usually do like to use shaper box as well. So let's say I have a lead right here in this beat. And usually when I apply shaper box, kind of just pick a preset, just going through all of them. Right. And then just seeing what works basically and after that just messing around with the lead trying to make it even better sounding so basically just a lot of trial and error when i'm using shaper box but i do have some go-to presets i have a lot of ones that i've liked here and then some presets that i've made myself so yeah Then next up, got ambience. Ambience, I mainly just use for reverb whenever I feel like I need some reverb. And I usually just leave it on the default setting and just play around with this knob right here, the mixer knob. Really, it does have a lot of different presets, you know, that could be useful. But usually I find on the default, just playing around with the knob is enough for the effect that I'm going for most of the times. But sometimes I do fuck around with uh, different presets. This 4-4 high reverse is cool. Yeah, this Amiibi Hall, Amiibo, whatever the fuck. Hall is a good preset and yeah just really mess around with ambience and just the knob mainly for when i want some reverb and it's a pretty cool plugin it's hella different reverb from just like fruity reverb or whatever stock you have and it's free so it's a good effect plugin next of course i got fin micro and this is another plugin i use a lot uh edo put me onto this shout out to him it's a free plugin from ujam so you can get that for free as well it has a lot of phaser effects a lot of reverb kind of effects and you just go through the list fuck around and see what you like this infinity preset is pretty good and with this i also do mess around with the knob a lot because i don't know just automating how much of it i want on the sound kind of helps and yeah not much to say about this just a really good effect plugin for some phaser flanger whatever has a lot of different presets in this and just sounds different to stock stuff that you have on fl the next portal portal i didn't ha i didn't use a lot for a while for some reason but i just got it now and i've been starting to use it a lot more again this is kind of like shaper box i do just use it with trial and error on like leads just chord progressions as well and just kind of use it to be more creative and change the sound of the sound kind of because sometimes just dry sounds from serum or other plugins are not good so you got to use some effect plugins on them to get some unique sound so yeah this is what this is for i do like these presets right here these are also from a edo and lyrical 24k bank so yeah go cop that you guys know who edo is he's been on my channel for a while go follow him on instagram you can get this bank for free <laughs> Then next up, we got Effectrix. Effectrix, really good plugin for drums. If you want to get, it's kind of similar to Looperator, where you can have some reverse in your hi hats, vinyl cuts as well. But Looperator is definitely better than this. But it is cool for melodies. Have some cool preset. This Drummer Lab Six, I do like this preset a lot. And also, you could just fuck around with the presets and change them. I use this a lot in my beats, as you guys have seen in my videos. So yeah, good presets in this. I really do like the filters. These comb vowel filters in this are really good. And yeah, really good plugin in general. Just gives your melodies and whatever you're using it on a more unique type of sound. Then next up, we got stock reverbs. Usually what I do with this is I either leave it on the default app or put it on Cathedral as well and just play around with the mix level. Um, it's just a good overall reverb to have. I usually use this reverb on hi-hats and just play around with the mix level. And yeah, just a good plugin in general.
then I do like to use Fruity Delay 3. I usually just play around with the level and the wetness for effects on melodies, hi-hats as well. I have used it on claps and also play around with the mix level to not have too much or too little delay. And yeah, just another default FL stock plugin, but a really good one at that. Next, ShaperBox 2, really good plugin in my opinion. Just as good as ShaperBox 3, I'd say, but ShaperBox 3 obviously has some better customization and like newer sounds, but I do still use ShaperBox 2 because I do like some of the default presets in here. And yeah, basically same thing as ShaperBox 3, just a lot of trial and error using it on leads, chords, that type of stuff. And yeah. And last sound we got, Looperator. I recently got Looperator and I do like it a lot. Mainly use it for hi-hats, but also have used it for melodies in the past. Just a bunch of unique sounds that are great for making leads and also your hi-hats sound very unique. And you can get creative with this. Has a lot of different presets to make your beats and sounds in your beats sound more unique. So yeah, I mean, that's a video. Honestly, with these plugins, this is what I mainly use. There might be some other ones. Sometimes I'll use Fruity Fast Distortion, but everything else is kind of just stock or common sense. Also use Sound Goodizer just to like increase some leads if they're like the sound of leads if they're quiet. Love Filter is a great plugin as well just for using these gates and these low passes. And yeah, grow speed as well. A lot of people hate on grow speed because of the clicking sounds that sometimes occur, but you can get rid of it with this empty thing. Halftime is probably better. I should probably get halftime. And yeah, those are all the plugins I mainly use. I also use Soft Clipper on my master for all of my beats. Just a default Soft Clipper, nothing else. And it gets the job done. But uh, yeah, those are all the effects I be using, you know what I'm saying? Question for the video. Let me know what your favorite effect plugin is down below in the comments. And yeah, that's me gang. Love you.